Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and we are going to draw an emote to close out the rest of the Incredibles tutorial series. So let's go ahead today and draw an emote from Incredibles 1 and Incredibles 2. Now I have to say, Edna is my favorite character, plus Jack Jack. Everything is perfect with those two together, and you will see if you go and see the second Incredibles. Just love it. All right. Let's go ahead and start with laying everything out. I'm going to start with the shape of her head. So we got this rounded off box going on and I'm going to go ahead and split, make that three quarter turn right down the middle and go ahead and make that eye guideline. Then what I would like to do is go ahead and bring down from her head into her neck. This one's just going to round out and go down. And we're actually going to go ahead and make one arm going this way. We're gonna round it this way. Stop, and I'm gonna jump back up here. Round it off again. Round it down. There's one arm, and then we've got from her neck here, it's gonna go down, shoulder, round back up into her arm. So this arm is overlapping this one. And this one's gonna curve outwards. And that one's gonna go out and back in. Stop there. I'm gonna jump back to over here underneath her arm and bring down this side and we're gonna round off this side. What we're gonna do first is we're actually going to start, get a little out of the norm and start with her nose because her nose is like the central point for the rest of her face. So Edna's nose goes up and then down and it's upright, so we have one nostril going this way and another nostril going this way. A little bit of distance between those two no nostrils. After that, now let's go ahead and start laying out her eyes. So from her nose here, we've got a slitted eye going this way. So we're gonna go out this way, go underneath, and attach. And we have one pupil iris right here. And we jump over here. We have another slitted eye all the way over here. And it's actually going to go up. And we're going to slit it. Just make the slit in the eye. iris area right in the middle. Go, make sure those are all in the same line. After that, we're gonna go underneath her bottom lines and just give her a little bit of bags underneath her eyes. She's a crazy artist, so she pulls all-nighters. <laughs> I'm gonna go underneath, a little bit of baggy eyes under her. And then we got her eyelid here, going this way. A little bit of an eyelid going here and here. And then we can go ahead and get fill in that pupil. And the pupil goes off of her nose. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to curve out this way. And then curve out this way too. She's giving us a little bit of a, a duck face almost. <laughs> go up. Make sure that comes to a point like right in the middle there. And then we're gonna round 
off the bottom lip, so I'm jumping off to the side, going around, and then I curve upwards. And then we got our, our pouty face, kind of a thing going on. And the line, it's, her, it's more of her laugh line goes to the corner of her dimple right here and here. And then we see this part as well. Make sure it's nice and rounded downwards. And this goes down. This will be the hardest part of her face just because of that, that snoopy, snoopy snoop look. And I'm just going to lightly shade here. And if you shade those lines a little bit more, it'll give it a little bit more contrasting. I'm going to go underneath and give one more baggy eye and another over here as well. Now what we can initially do is we can go ahead before we fill in the glasses I'm just going to go ahead and give her her bangs across her forehead. So her bangs go straight across. We do not see her eyebrows and now we can go ahead and add her glasses. Now her glasses go all the way around over her bangs and around her eyes. And they're perfect circles. So one here. And then the ridge of the glasses is going to go over the nose. And then the glasses are going to go out this way. go ahead after we make those circles is make those rims a little thicker. So build off of here. Now let's shape up her face just a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and bring down this side, bring it in, and then this one, this side of her face, is going to go more in towards her neck and connect. Now we can start putting some hair around her face. I'm going to go up to here. So that's as high as I want her hair to do, hair do to go. Bring down this side, bring it down, and then you're just going to go, I'm going to draw straight through her, her neck and go to the other side. I'm going to jump back up here to go ahead and go down. and connect to that other side. Now let's shape this up a little bit more. This is the bang section. So we got bangs right here. And then this part of her haircut goes into her face. And it goes out. So into her face. And out. We still want to keep it straight. Don't look, make it look too much like Mrs. Incredible. Go down, here's the other side of her bangs, and then this part will go out and back in, and then the rest of her hair will be just like hanging in the back. I we'll want to make this as flat as possible. Go. So what you can do now is go ahead and you can make it look a little bit more like hair. 
So let's go this way, and let's move it this way. So Edna's haircut can be colored from the top and leave it nice and sleek in the middle. So you leave like a sh the really shiny part in the middle. Alright, so the first, the outfit we're going to draw her in is from the first movie, and it's those spiky kind of sleeves, so it's just really just a bunch of triangles. Not triangles, but diamonds almost. So you're just going to start at the top, and you can do this however, it's just, it's going to go into the curve of her arm. So we're going to make a little bit of a, they just look like teeth almost. <laughs> Go off to the side, bring off this poke, and then we're going to make this pokey one, this pokey one, this can go in, this can go down, down, and then it's going to start to curve with her arm. this way this can curve inwards And when we get to her wrist and her hand, we see a little bit of her hand, so I'm just going to make those little toothies of the diamonds go up, bring that down. Bring this, this part of her hand down, you can see her pinky just a little bit, and the rest of her hand is just tucked underneath there. Now let's do this arm. So we're gonna do our little, our diamond toothies again. Go up this way. This way, bring this one in. This one's gonna go all the way over here. This one in, this one in. This one in, this one in. This one curves over her hand. This one goes in. And then this is, these are all more boxy because the diamonds are gonna start going upwards with her hand. So we're gonna start going up. We're gonna bring out this hand outwards. It's gonna go out. And we'll bring her pinky up, go back down, curve it down, go back into her hand, bring up her ring finger, and go back into her hand, her middle finger, back into her hand, and that's all we can see. And then we have, we have her thumb, so we're going to round out the top of her hand. And I'm going to curve out her thumb, so we're going to go outwards. And then back. 
back in. Smooths out. And there we have her hand just kind of folded out like, oh, I'm, I'm modelist doll thing. Then her shoulder right here is straight. She has more of a pink collar going down, up, into her arm. And I'm going to jump back over here, bring out this side, bring it out this way, go down, and then the collar will go back up. And then she has another collar to her dress right here. And then we'll start to, I'm just gonna draw through the collar and start making that pattern of it looks like it's rings on top of rings. So I'll make it go down, down, down. And the thing is, it looks like tires, so I'm gonna like make it look more like tires. Just these rows. This leg first, it's gonna go down and out. So this is her foot. I'm gonna jump back up, round it down. Come to a point, make it flat, round it back up and go into her leg. So there's one leg and then I'm gonna jump over here and this one's gonna go down just a little bit more because she's posing almost. So I'm gonna bring this in and I'm gonna jump off to the side just a little bit. Bring down this one. And we're gonna curve it. Go up. Round it. So this one's more back here and this one's in front. So that means I'm just going to make a little line right here. And it doesn't look like she has shoes on or anything. I don't see a seam. I think it's just overall boots. And this entire outfit is black except the pink right here. I'm just going to shade her face just a little bit on the side of it. So I'm going to just lightly shade towards, like you're gonna round off her cheeks a little bit more. Round it towards her lips and then round down alongside of her chin. And then go ahead and smooth that in. And that gives a little bit more shape to her actual face because she's making a weird looking face. So it's, it's interesting, but the thing is you wanna kind of get those lines. So we got a line here, line here, line here. It's an interesting expression, but then again, Edna Mode is a little bit of an interesting character. <laughs> so there you go. There is how to draw Edna Mode from Disney Pixar's The Incredibles. I love this movie. I just saw it for the second time. I highly suggest everybody goes and see it, sees it because you will fall in love. It is absolutely wonderful. I hope you guys have a most wonderful day and that you enjoy drawing Edna Mode. I'll see y'all later. Bye!